So what if we now want to decide between three different things and use our if statement for more than two things? We said with the if statement, we could only decide, is it M or isn't it M? So we could only make use of Boolean data. We could only decide between two things. But what if we wanted to decide between three things? So here we have um, the code letters for the various houses at school. And we've got Thor, we've got Zeus, and we've got Odin. So we need to decide now which um, of these letters corresponds to which house name. But we're going to use an if function, but we are going to use a nested if function. In other words, we're going to put one if function inside another one. So the first one we're going to decide is, is this Thor or is it not Thor? Okay, so we're going to write our if statement and we're going to say if D2 is equal to a capital T, then we want it to type the word Thor. Otherwise, we're going to type the word other to show that we've got some other kind of house over there. And if we copy our function down, we should see that the two Thors come up as Thor and the other one comes up as another one. Okay, so now we're going to go back to that original formula that we've written. And instead of the other, we're going to ask it to decide again. So we've eliminated all the Thors. Okay, if it's Thor, it's going to type the word Thor. If it isn't Thor, it's going to do another if statement. So the next if statement is going to say if uh, D2 is now a Z, then make it Zeus, otherwise make it Odin and have a bracket in there. So you can see the red brackets are around the second if statement the black bracket is then around the whole if statement. So we've got one if statement inside another one. So this one now says if D2 is equal to T, then put the word Thor. Otherwise, look again and see if D2 is equal to Z. And if it is, then put Zeus. And if it isn't, then put the word Odin. Now you could carry on doing this. You could carry on replacing um, the one at the end with another if statement, with another if statement, with another if statement, and you could carry on going. So let us copy our formula down, and now we see that we've got for this one, um, it is Thor, so it's picking up Thor. For this one, it's not Thor, so it's doing the second if statement, and in the second if statement, it's seeing that there is a Z there, so it'll pick up Zeus. And for this one, it's looking at D5, finding the O, so it's not a T, doesn't do that. It gets passed on to the next if statement. It checks to see if D5 is equal to Z. It is not equal to Z, so therefore it types the word O in the end.